This is the Extra Genie, a training tool ideal for assisted sprint training and in this video we will go over the setup and storing as well as the pro and cons that come with the use of this tool. But before we head into that, there are three different lengths of Extra Genies you can buy. You get the short 60 feet line, which is 18 meters. This package comes with two lines, one training line and a replacement line, and it will cost you $249,95, or around 235 euros. The second line length you can buy is a medium length, which is 120 feet or 36 meters. This one comes with only one line, but you can choose to buy a package with one X harness or two waist harnesses. No matter the harness choice though, this pack will also cost you 249,95 US dollars or around 235 euros. The final line length is the longest one, which is 200 feet or 60 meters long. Just like the medium line length, here you can also choose to get a package with either one X harness or two waist harnesses. This pack is a little bit more expensive and will cost you 269,95 US dollars or 255 euros. Now on to the setup. Your Exer Genie is stored in this small bag, which makes it easy to carry around. Get the Exer Genie and the harness out of the bag and roll out a rope, but make sure it is untangled. Once that is done, connect the cylinder with a built-in resistance to a fixed object, a pole, fence or even a hurdle. The less movement it can make or wiggle around, the better. If you use a hurdle, please make sure someone or even two people hold the hurdle, otherwise the athlete will just pull the hurdle along. The only thing left to do now is to choose the resistance. You can do this by pushing down the button on the bottom of the cylinder and twist it around. The big red line indicates at what resistance you are training and every time you rotate that button 360 degrees, you move one line up on the cylinder. So make sure you remember how many rotations you have done because it is easy to lose track of that. Now that you've done that, you are ready to roll. Attach the harness to the rope and choose how you want to wear it as an X harness or a waist harness. No matter your size, the harness is easy to tighten thanks to the two metal rings on the back. This way the harness stays locked in place during your entire run. However, after the setup and the training comes the breakdown. And this is where it can get really tricky. How is that you might ask? Well, the storage of the rope, depending on how you do it, can make your next training session with the Exer Genie a living hell. Exer Genie, the company, advises the following method to store the rope. First, even out both sides of the rope, then take both ends in your hand and start winding the rope around your elbow and hand, figure eight wise. Don't tighten it too hard because this makes it harder to remove the rope from your forearm in the end. Now you can just put the harness, cylinder and rope in the bag. However, leave out both ends of the rope out of the bag because next time you need the extra genie, you can just grab both ends and pull the rope and normally the rope should just roll out without getting tangled. Most of the time this method will work and the rope won't get tangled. But every once in a while, I don't know what I do wrong, I still get the rope tangled. So I just made this contraption to store the extra genie. The only downside to this system is that it doesn't fit the bag anymore. But now I 100% don't have a tangled extra genie anymore. On to some more positives and negatives. First up, the Exer Genie is easy to carry around, especially if you compare it to other alternatives for resisted sprints, like the sleds for instance. Two, it can give a lot of resistance, more than you'll probably ever need, even all the way up to 600 pounds, which is 272 kilograms. Three, the X harness fits really nice and can be used on the upper body as well as a waist belt if needed. As for the negatives, number one, like I said, Unpacking of the extra genie can be a real hassle if the rope gets tangled. Two, the cylinder can very quickly get very hot and even impossible to touch or rotate with the bare hands. So make sure to always have a towel or shirt available and a bucket of cold water so you don't burn your fingers. Three, the resistance sometimes feels like it is not applied evenly throughout a run. Sometimes the athlete feels a heavier than supposed to resistance for three steps to then a five steps of a less than supposed resistance. Though this does not always happen, it happens often enough to make me wonder if something broke inside the Exer Genie or if I'm just doing something wrong. In conclusion, I really like the Exer Genie as a tool for resisted sprints, but also for drills or submax sprints to help the athletes get the right shapes and patterns. Even more sometimes than the regular sleds. 
Let us know in the comments if there is any other resistance print technology that you want us to review and consider liking the video and subscribing if this one helped you out.